Hey, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about using voice typing within Google Slides. Now, you can't really do this directly in Google Slides into a text box, but there is a little way around that, and I'll show you that in this video. Okay, so I have a Google Slides open. This is actually a different one that I was working on, but I just opened a new blank slide, and I'm going to go up here to Tools. You can also use this in Google Docs, so check that out under Tools. You'll have Voice Type. So voice type here, it just says speaker notes. So you can't actually do the voice typing directly in a text box, but it will add it to the speaker notes at the bottom, and then you can cut and paste them into a text box. So if I click on speaker notes here with the voice type, over on the left-hand side, I'm going to get a microphone that pops up. You can click on that microphone to start your voice typing. So if your goal is to use voice typing as a replacement for typing on the keyboard, keep in mind that you have to speak clearly you have to really enunciate and you also have to add in punctuation possibly by saying period at the end of a sentence. So in my practicing with this and using this for some things that I was typing up in a Google Doc, I actually used voice typing for part of a grad class. As I did that, it was a little problematic as far as getting used to speaking clearly, slowly, enunciating, also adding in the punctuation like I mentioned can be tricky and you'll have to go in and do a lot of proofreading. So keep that in mind if you're using this with students, especially with students who are struggling to use the keyboard. If you want to have them try this as an option in Google Docs or in Google Slides, that it can be a little problematic. Okay, so let's start our voice typing here. I'm gonna click on the microphone to start, and I'm just going to start speaking here, and we'll see it show up at the bottom, period. Notice how I had to use the word period it actually just put it in there in the next sentence, comma. And you'll notice that you need to add in the punctuation via those words, period. Now, not all the words that you say will show up clearly, especially if you're speaking quickly. It helps if you slow down, like I mentioned, and really enunciate those words clearly, period. Also. I found in doing this that your speaking voice and the way you would actually compose written text by typing can be vastly different, comma. So that's something to keep in mind, period. I want to emphasize again that you're going to go back in and have to add in punctuation, capitalization, as you're seeing what's coming up here in this example. It's not an exact copy of what you say, period. So when you're finished with your voice typing, you see over here you just click again on the microphone and once the red circle and red microphone are, are gone, it's done recording that section. So I now have my freeform kind of thoughts on this as I was speaking just to as an example. I'm going to now just do control X to cut that. I'm going to go back up here. Control X is cut, control C is copy, and control V as in Victor is paste. So I just use control X to cut this. I'm going to go up here and insert a text box. And then right here I'm going to do control V to paste that in there. Now I have my text from the bottom right here. I can now change it if I wanted to use a different font. Let's, let's say I wanted to change it to cabin, and I wanted to change it to, let's say, maybe 12, something like that. Now I have that there like that. So again, you notice how I had used the words period for punctuation at the end. I used a comma where I thought a comma was necessary. But again, it's going to be uh, an exact science when you use this and when your students use this. Just make sure you go in there and have them really edit this, and it's a good opportunity to, for them to practice their editing, proofreading, so that the quality of the response or the quality of that the text that's in that text box is up to the standards that you're setting. So I hope this was helpful for you in figuring out how to add text in text boxes with the voice typing feature. If you have any questions or comments, you can always email me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Have a great day.